the St. Lucia Teachers Union, after a prolonged wait, finally hosted elections for a new executive on Thursday, September 25th. Chairman of the SLTU Thomas Boulogne says the marked difference in this year's election has been the long, anxious wait for teachers to get to the polling stations. One day after the elections, the preliminary results are in. All eyes were fixed on who would become the new president of the SLTU. For president, we would expect um, Don Howell to be the, the new president and um, we will have the final results, but the preliminary results indicating that it's leading, as well as for the position of first vice president, we have Vern Charles. And um, the second vice president is already um, appointed because that's Simmons Jules, who was on oppose. And for the position of general secretary, we have Chantal Peter uh, leading significantly. So. And uh, as well, we have for the position of Deputy General Secretary, we have da Dahlia Nepstiel Abbott as the person who is leading. And for Treasurer, Utilda is already on a post, and Public Relations Officer, we have Alice Meda. Some 2,500 teachers cast their vote for their desired candidates for the various seats. Can the results then be contested once the official count is in? According to the Constitution, they have a right to, if they wish. Um, that is, but if they want a recount, if they want a, But they, I, I doubt there will be need for that, because based on the, the differences, I'm not sure. They will be, anybody would be prepared to ask for a recount, because, but it's their right. The chairman says the final votes are still being counted, but there is no anticipation that there will be any swing in the results. The next process will be the installation of the of the new executive. But that, for this to take place, the, the, the union would have to um, organize a biennial convention, which they, uh, they, they can decide when they want to do so. And this biennial convention has to be um, notified, or members have to be informed of that biennial convention, at least 30 days before it takes place. Despite the challenges, Boulogne describes the election process as smooth sailing. Solaj Alfred, HTS News Force.